Hi, I'm Justin. I'm with Grand Design, and we're out here in Lincoln, Nebraska with Leach Camper Sales. Uh, and today I'm going to take you around our 22 RBE Imagine Travel Trailer. It's a great seller for Leach, so let's hop in and I'll show you some of the features for this one. First, uh, coming up to the outside here, one of the great features of this coach is that it has an R40 insulation across this entire front cap and the roof of the unit. Um, R40 insulation is kind of something that you're going to see in like a high-end fifth wheel, your high-end uh, motorhomes, and um, we're taking that high insulation and putting it all the way down into our little 22 MLE here. Um, another thing that we just started doing new that you're going to start to see on some of the Grand Design travel trailers and uh, other products is our new indication stickers. You're going to see this on the front uh, um, tongue jack um, and then also by the door too so when you're going through on the lot you'll be able to tell which models are which a um, little bit quicker that way just kind of an ease for uh, customers and identifying the unit let's go around to the side over here another thing that we do on the 22 RBE here um, a little bit different than maybe a different manufacturer um, is going to be our seals um, a lot of manufacturers nowadays use what's called a uh, butyl tape on all of their major seals right here. So that's to keep the water off of, or the water from intruding to the inside. Instead of doing that butyl tape, we do what's called a mylar tape. That mylar tape um, kind of looks like duct tape. It's about this wide, um, and it's backed with a PVC backer. So the mylar tape, unlike butyl tape, doesn't expand and contract and cause water voids really easily. Uh, it stays a lot more firm, it's going to last a lot longer, um, and it, uh, it, uh, uh, it's going to keep that water out a lot easier. Um, and then we also seal it with silicone around the outside, so that the absence of um, butyl tape and that mylar tape is definitely going to help all of your seals around all of your major edges. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you come over here, another thing that we do on the outside um, is going to be in your pass-through storage compartment. You, we're using motion sensing lights. So instead of uh, going through here, popping that open and trying to find the switch when you pull into the campground in the middle of the night, you've got those motion sensing lights to keep you uh, illuminated. One thing that you can't see right now that I always like to touch on when I um, take customers around this is our underbelly is going to be fully enclosed. So that means Four Seasons camping is going to be a lot easier. You're going to be able to stay into those longer uh, um, spring and um, fall months. Um, and then also that underbelly compartment is also heated too. So whenever you're running that furnace, there's a duct that's going to feed hot air to the underbelly. So you've got R40 insulation on the front cap and the roof, as well as a heated and enclosed underbelly. This is going to keep you uh, nice and warm um, into, like I said, those later months. Um, let's go towards the back this way. Another thing that we do on the outside uh, that's a little bit different than maybe a different manufacturer is going to be our slide box construction. So our slide boxes are fully laminated all the way around. So what that does is when I come over to this box and I, I bang on it really hard, it's nice and firm. It's not going to give um, and kind of move and be a real weak slide box that can sometimes cause these tracks to not work very well. Um, it's going to be a lot more firm. It's going to have that slide box moving in and out um, the correct way. Um, so we've touched on a couple things on the outside here. Let's hop inside and I'll show you some features inside. Okay. Now that we're on the inside, uh, I'm going to kind of jump in and show you some cool features on the inside of the 22 RBE. If you guys look down here at the floor, you'll notice that we don't have any heat ducts facing up in our floor. Um, we do all of our heat ducts facing in from the sides. Um, that gives you one uh, more strong floor. So when you're walking through, we don't have a 12 by 4 inch um, hole in the floor that gives it a weak spot. Um, also, it's going to keep your floor a lot cleaner too. Um, you don't have popcorn kernels and dirt, debris going down into those ducts because um, they're facing in from the side. So a stronger, a cleaner floor, um, just a, a little bit easier that way. Um, another thing that we just recently upgraded to about a year ago um, is going to be our new cabinet design. Uh, this is also on the drawers here. We've gone to European Poplar um, on all of our drawer and our cabinet fronts. So still a hardwood with our new um, hardware on there. Um, all metal drawer slide. And then if you look at our cabinet right here, all upgraded hidden hinges too. Let's go up to the bedroom here real quick. 
Up here we've got a 60 by 80 queen mattress. This is something that we do standard in all of our coaches. Um, sometimes in different RVs you'll see a 60 by 74, a 60 by maybe a short queen. Um, nope, we're gonna do all full size 60 by 80 mattresses in your Imagine Travel trailers. Um, this is just an upgrade, it's a lot easier to fit sheets. Um, it's gonna be bigger and more, more better for you as a camper. Under the bed here too, um, we've got gas struts on all of our underbed storages. Um, I grew up camping and I remember always trying to put stuff in here, holding it up with a shoulder, trying to put a box in here. None of that anymore. Um, we've got nice full-size storage with those gas struts under there. Now let's go towards the bathroom real quick. So if you're looking here, you can see this bathroom goes across the full back width of the coach. So 96 inches wide of bathroom. This is the biggest bathroom that we make in a travel trailer this size. Um, back here you've got a upgraded porcelain toilet, you've got a 30 by 36 inch um, shower, um, and you've got a ton of countertop space, I don't know if you can see a wrap around there. You've got a ton of countertop space, a ton of storage, um, just a great size bathroom with lots of opening, and a 36 inch pocket door right here. So a ton of space in this coach. Um, not something that you'd usually see in a coach of this size. So those are some of the great features that we've got on the inside of this 22 RBE. Um, come down and take a look at the show here this weekend. I'd love to show you around.